Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we are going to do a uh, review of Konoha Story, The Steam Ninja Scrolls Chapter 4, The Border Festival. So overall this chapter was good. There's some pretty good moments in here and there's some funny gag moments too. Um, but overall this is a really good um, chapter because there's a moment in here um, where Kakashi and Mirai, uh, where they bond. And she bonds with my guy too, but there's this moment where Kakashi and Mirai, they really bond and they get really close. They really connect with each other. So that part really makes this chapter a really good chapter to me. Uh, the Kakashi being, um, Kakashi lifting um, Mirai spirits. Um, but with that being said, let's just get into the, uh, chapter review. Oh my goodness. All right. So right here. So Mirai is watching, uh, my guy and Kakashi have dinner. She's still, uh, still worried that she's just an attendant on this mission and it's not a serious mission at all. This is just a vacation and she still has these doubts about whether she's still good enough. And uh, that's all still on her mind. Mm -hmm. Then um, she's watching uh, Gashi and my guy. And uh, she makes a comment about how Kakashi let my guy. Didn't notice my guy swapping a tempera from him. And then when she looks away and she um, looks back. Um, to see about my guy Kakashi. She noticed Kakashi's gone and Kakashi is right behind her. And she falls out of the tree. And this is the um, heartwarming moment I was talking about earlier that really makes uh, this chapter stand out. Um, he wants uh, Mirai to join um, him and my guy for dinner. And but she's trying to take her job seriously, which she should. Um, but you see here, she says that um, she's just merely their attendant, and uh, she shouldn't join because of that. Um, but then here um, we have Tashi um, getting ready to connect with Mirai and really um, helping her. Um, because um, he notices that um, she's been very like sad and stuff or disappointed. Um, so here's the part where he connects with uh, Mirai. So he tells Mirai that she's a lot like Asuma and um, that he was awkward. Um, just like she was, and basically they're going into um, when Asuma was growing up, he had to deal with high expectations because his father um, was the third Hokage, um, the strongest Hokage ever um, at the time. Uh, I believe he was stronger even than Hashirama and Tobirama, and he was a god of Shinobi, and he was known also as the professor. Very skilled in all the jutsu, in all of Konoha Village, and uh, he had to um, live up to very high expectations, and it was frustrating because uh, he put him at odds with his father, and Asuma eventually left the village for a while, but when he came back, he became a more chill person, and uh, Akashi basically tells her that she needs to relax more, she needs to be more natural, not to be so uptight and not to put too much pressure on herself stop putting too much pressure on herself she thinks that she has to uh, live up to these high expectations because her father was a, an elite jonin um a shinobi part of the shinobi 12 guardian shinobi 12 the shinobi 12 guard the feudal lord her mother was a 
high Joan, a highly skilled Joanine herself, and Kakashi's just telling her to stop putting too much pressure on herself. And that Naruto really sent her on this mission with Kakashi and my guy because he kind of sensed the same thing too. Um, and basically he says right here that if she's so uptight and so tense, um, she's basically going to sabotage herself. And he puts her mind even more at ease that saying that um, the inspection is still a real mission. So she still a, has actual bodyguard duties. And she says that she's going to loosen up from here on out. And then um, she mentions that the mission is going to wrap up in a day or two. But Kakashi's like, no, it's going to last for 20 days, not two days. And then she's like, um, like, how could I get it wrong? And I'm thinking that she didn't get it wrong. I try to look back in the last first two in the first two chapters about the time, how long this mission was going to take. I didn't see anywhere where they specified how long this mission was. Um, but it's kind of hard for me to believe that she would get two days and 20 days mixed up. So I'm like, there had to be some kind of miscommunication between the Okage office and the people, person delivering the missions and stuff. Because how do you... How do you make that kind of mistake? A two-day mission versus a mission that's 20 days, maybe even 25 days, um, like nearly a month long, because they've already been out, I think, for maybe like two or three days, so 23. Okay, so then they're on their way to the land of steam. Um and Mirai is feeling a lot better. Um, she's like more like relaxed and stuff after her talk with Kakashi. And um, they run into this um, town, and um, in this town, there's a festival going on. So it's a border festival, and it's basically them arguing about which animal is better cats and dogs. And this chapter is really um, good because you get to see a returning character, Kiba, and his girlfriend, Tamaki. Mostly Kiba, because uh, Tamaki only appeared every now and then in Naruto Shippuden. Um, so really, Kiba's the returning character. Um, but we see them having this fight, and this is where the gag moment is. These guys are arguing about which animal guided the villagers into digging a hot spring. Was it a dog or a cat? And they're basically arguing which animal's better, dog or cats. Like, <clears throat> And then Mirai is put in this very tough situation, um, choosing between which animal's better, dog or cat. And they got really into the situation because um, there's this argument that Kiba got into with his girlfriend about which hot spring to visit, um, the cat hot spring or the dog hot spring, and they did a vote on it, but they did it by um, voting, and they did it with like the cats that Tamaki has and the dog that, Kamaru, that Kiba has, and basically Kiba saying it wasn't a fair vote, and then. They do a vote again, but this time they have Kakashi, Mike, Guy, and Mirai. Kakashi votes for dogs, obviously, because he mentions he summons ninja hounds. And then Mike, Guy, he had to vote with the cats. And his reasoning was he has to um, be in opposition to Kakashi or challenge Kakashi because everything that they do has to be a rivalry or some kind of competition. And then now the vote comes down to um, Mirai. Mm -hmm. And she's put in this very tough situation. She can't even 
boat for both. But then um, something happens to bail her out. Um, there's some commotion going on. So <clears throat> some people are running. Yeah, people are running. And then Mike Guy is moving. He's trying to figure out where people are running to. And now it looks like there's going to be like a big fight coming down. So you see, Mirai was saved by the bell of that time. So it's it's probably bad that this fight is happening, but good also because um, Mirai was in a seriously no win situation there. So overall, really good chapter. Like I said, what made it really good for me was Kakashi bonding with Mirai and really uplifting her spirit, really telling her um, what she's struggling with, that she's putting too much pressure on herself. And uh, she shouldn't do that because that's just going to sabotage. She's just going to sabotage herself by doing that. Uh, so that's what really uh, made the chapter for me. And I guess this cat and dog fight um, was pretty funny too. So overall, that's where the chapter ends. Um, tell me what your thoughts about it in the comments section below, whether you like the chapter or not. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends and all of you. Have a great day.